Accessibility is not only for persons with disabilities but for all and absence of signages proves this point very rightly. Without proper directions and signages, anybody could be clueless and so is a person with sensory impairments. Therefore, signages should always be put at strategic locations where everyone can get the required information. The height of the signages should be between 1400 to 1700 millimeters and should be supplemented with pictograms. Color contrast between the text, symbols and their background should be very bright. The combination of blue and white colors should be preferred for the signages as this is the color which is internationally used and universally accepted. Important places where directional signages must be provided are roads, road intersections, parkings, entrances, exits, lifts and other public services like telephone booths, toilets, food outlets, etc. Emergency signages must be provided at prominent locations, entrances and exits in large print with bright color contrast and with proper illumination. With pictograms, we should also use braille signages which will be useful for persons with vision impairment, deaf, blind and persons with low vision. The desk of telephone booths, reception and public dealing counters should be low, that is at 800 millimeters of height so that a person with short stature, wheelchair user and even children can access it easily. The insertion slit of the coin in telephones and its receiver should not be above 1200 millimeters from the floor level. All schools, colleges, offices and other public buildings and places should have at least one accessible toilet. This should be made mandatory for all the public places. An accessible toilet is one which is constructed with the given measurements and guidelines and can be easily accessed by persons with reduced mobility, a visually impaired person and a wheelchair user without any assistance. To make a toilet user friendly, we should keep some points in mind while constructing it. Like, size of the toilet cubicle should be 1750 mm by 2000 mm. Clear door opening of an accessible toilet should be 900 mm. Doors should open outwards or slide on side as this helps the wheelchair users to move in easily. WC commode seat should be at the corner of the toilet and grab bars should be installed near the WC which should be movable type on the transfer side and L shape on the wall side of the seat. The height of the wash basin should be low that is between 700 to 800 millimeters and the area beneath its slab should not be covered so that any wheelchair user can access it easily. Taps or faucets used in the toilet and wash basin are also important to make a toilet accessible. Round shaped taps should be avoided. Instead, censored taps and taps with long lever handles should be used. There should be adequate lighting in the toilet area and symbol of accessibility with pictogram should be given on the entrance for the convenience of all the users. As this is the age of information and technology, we need to make our websites in such a manner that it can be accessed by all. Usually, websites are designed in such a way that a lot of information on a single web page with small fonts used is provided, which creates problems for a person with low vision, vision impairment and intellectual disabilities. Websites should follow W3C guidelines and avoid using lot of text and pictures on a single web page. Large font size with color contrast should be used to make the web page conducive for these users. Audio facility should be provided with the text like screen reader software. Persons with developmental disabilities such as cerebral palsy, autism etc. 
can also access the cyber information with the help of the laser pointers, modified keyboards and infrared devices. Citizen participation is very essential and important in incorporating universal design in the built and transport environments. But uh, in making this thing implementable, it's important that we need to modify our policies and guidelines and codes and incorporate users' perspective in all these guidelines and codes to make it user-friendly. The Lihat Bus Rapid Transit System, BRTS Corridors, Delhi Metro, Garden of Five Senses are some of the best examples of user-friendly public spaces and transportation systems. These systems and tourist spots have been constructed keeping in mind all types of users. Delhi Metro Services and Infrastructure has been rated as one of the best in the world. Delhi Metro has levelled boarding, which means there is no gap between the platform and the coach of the train, which helps the mobility aid users to access it easily and safely. BRTS Corridor has been made accessible for all users by providing ramps, handrails at two levels and waiting area for wheelchair users. It has auditory signals at intersection and braille route information signages. The low floor buses have level boarding. Digital display for persons with hearing impairments and color contrast for persons with low vision. Delhi Transport Corporation has taken the initiative of constructing accessible toilets at the DTC bus terminals, which is a positive step towards making our environment barrier-free and accessible for all. University of Delhi has also started modifying its infrastructure for making their campus barrier-free and cater to the needs of every student, teacher and non-teaching staff. Dilli Heart and Garden of Five Senses have provided ramps and stairs with handrails, signages, accessible toilets and drinking water facilities in their premises, which makes these places accessible to a great extent. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step and with these few case studies in Delhi, we hope to take you to make all public and private constructions in entire India universally accessible. Becky is pretty, Becky is nice, sweet and witty, huh? Becky is wise. Such an Anand Pele, her favorite she'd say. Becky likes all games, though she doesn't play. School, mall, cinema hall, little Becky likes them all. But not the pity, not the stare, not being known by a wheelchair. Jane can only study, she cannot draw or dance. Jude is good with music, but horrible with romance. There are some things we can, some things we cannot. So why is only Becky the odd one out? She loves to watch the moon. She likes to play with toys. Becky loves uh -huh. cartoons, like all girls and boys. <laughs> Becky is just fine. The difference is in our minds. Now how do I conclude? Just include...